Hello, and welcome to today's SBAC video. We will be talking a little bit more about what the SBAC does as an organization. In Chicago, small businesses employ about 2.5 million people, which is about 45% of the state's private workforce. Small businesses mean a lot to the economy, as well as to the communities that they are a part of. The goal of the Small Business Advocacy Council is to advocate on behalf of these smaller organizations. The SBAC is a full-service, nonpartisan, and effective voice on behalf of its members. We connect entrepreneurs and other members with each other in order to foster relationships and strategic partnerships. In just 10 short years, the SBAC has grown from just a handful of members to over 1,500 members. We are advocating for the small business community and helping it grow through policy initiatives as well as network and knowledge sharing opportunities. Here's what some of our members have to say about the SBAC. Thank you, SBAC, for all you do for small business. I really want to thank you for, for your time. Thank you for having me. And I do just want to say I appreciate the SBAC for this opportunity, for this platform to be able to even express who we are and that we are existing and just to let the world know that no matter how challenging anything may look no matter how far it may look if you continue to strive if you continue to thrive eventually you will get to where you're going hi my name is rebecca considine i'm partner over at speed pro chicago loop we're a large format digital graphics company here on michigan avenue in chicago uh, my business partner, Eric, and I love the SBAC for a lot of reasons. They advocate on behalf of small business in Chicago. They provide amazing networking opportunities to network with other business owners in Chicago. And they make some real change on behalf of small business on the local, on the uh, state, and the national level. Hi, I joined the SBAC because it's a bipartisan organization fighting for the rights of small businesses in Springfield. It's one of our only voices, and so we can make, ensure that the politicians can hear what the small businesses' needs are and that we can get passed through what's required so we can survive, thrive, and grow in the great state of Illinois. Um, I became an SBAC member um, in, I think it was, March or April because I was looking for something to do to help out. There were a lot of small businesses both in my neighborhood and in Chicago that were hurting. Um, and uh, I had some time since my event was canceled and I wanted to do something to help. And uh, one of my former partners and very dear friends, Leslie Cohen, was a longtime member, is a longtime member um, and board member of the SBAC. And, um, she told me all of the good advocacy work that the SBAC was doing to help out small businesses. Um, and I wanted to get involved and see how that how I could contribute to um, help small businesses in Illinois. I was fortunate to join the SBAC over 10 years ago and quickly developed an exceptional professional network. But the advocacy work really sets the SBAC apart. I encourage you to learn more, join the SBAC, get involved and make a difference in your communities. So we're definitely excited to have organizations like SBAC and other small business advocacy groups help us communicate to policymakers that we would love to be a space that we're, that's allowed to operate and give people the opportunity to do something outside of the house. Thank you for watching and check out our website for information on how to become a member and some more information on the initiatives that the SBAC is working on. Check out our YouTube channel for some small business spotlights as well as the town halls that we've posted. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.